Hello, it's been a while, but I'm excited to be back and bring you this new tutorial going over this technique for this psychedelic, trippy kaleidoscope tunnel, which I'm calling tunnel tiling. Um, this lets you take an input image and tile it in the Z axis, add some rotation, and you're gifted with this nice little animation of things twisting nice and beautifully. So I can change what input image I have. So I found that large scenes work really well. This is some fish, uh, which to me, I'm here for the fish. Try and bring more fish to Touch Designer. If you're out there and are trying to join the mission, please let me know and maybe we'll get the fish Touch Designer Discord going. But I think, I think we got some stuff to work with here. We can also change the way that the parameters are kind of set up on the tiling. So this is a little bit less um, layers, so to speak. Um, and then this is kind of nice because this sort of creates a slit, a slit scan sort of effect. Um, and we can go through one final image. Um, this looks works really nice with this effect. And we can also throw our webcam in there and you can see me. Um, so let's get into it and show how we might recreate this. So I am going to jump out of here. I'm going to turn off cooking on this so we don't need it. And I'm going to create a new base. You could also create a container if you want, but I just like doing things in bases if I don't need a container functionality. So I'm going to start out by dropping in a little circle. And I am going to change the, the divisions on this. And let's bring that down a little bit. I'm going to go to about 12. I like that. I'm going to throw that into a null. Let's throw that into a geo. I'm going to go to comp. I'm going to go to geo. And cool. We're starting to see that in 3D. Let's add a camera. And let's add a light. Then we're going to add a render top. Going to add a transform over that. Do comp over background so we nice have some black behind there. I'm going to throw a null in there. And let's take a look at that. Pretty nice. I am then going to create a constant material and put that onto the geo. Very nice. Now I'm going to create a annotate so we can have this nice and organized. And that is our render setup. Very nice. I'm going to, let's drag in some videos so we have some stuff to work with. I'm just going to drag all of mine in now just so we have them nice and handy. I have a directory and I'll include this these videos in the Gumroad link. Um, also considering doing a Patreon maybe this summer and trying to become more consistent. Um, but we'll see how that comes along. So I'm going to grab this first video over here. Throw that into a transform. Throw that into a switch. Move these over a little bit. Throw that into a null. And let's bring all these into a switch actually. And then I'm going to name this video texture. And I'm going to put that onto the color map of the constant. Cool. Now we have our video mapped onto here in 3D space. And in other use cases, you might need the texture 3D SOP, but for what we're doing um, and the way we're mapping onto this video, this is perfect. So this is a great start, and we have our videos, so now let's set up our instancing data. I'm going to create another annotate for this. And that's looking good. Cool. So now I'm going to bring in a line SOP which is going to let us lay out our circles in 3D space. So this is going left to right right now, but I actually want it going in the Z axis. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there, this white line. Eh. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take that to zero, and I want this to be 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.5. Cool. And you can kind of see the way that white line changed directions. And I'm going to change this number of points to 15. But actually what I'm going to do, before we go any further, I'm going to add a constant chop over here. 
because we're going to want to create that sort of preset switch. So uh, I want to kind of get ahead of the game, create this constant. Very nice. I'm going to create a variable called num points. Then I can right click on this number here. I'm going to, well, before I do that, I'm going to set this to, let's say 15, right click, hit copy parameter, then go over to line one, number of points and hit paste reference. Now you can see that we are referencing this constant right here. And when we want to switch to different um, things, we can do that. So I'm going to put this into a null and then put this into a SOP2. So we get this nice chop data. And I'm gonna put that into a merge so we can add some more data later. And I'm going to put this into a null and rename this instance data. I'm gonna go over to my geo, go to the instance page, go to instancing. Now I'm gonna go take my instance, instance data chop throw that into the default instance op. And let's go over here so we can see the magic happen in real time. And I'm gonna change translate X to TX, TY and TZ. Cool, so now we have our bad boys in 3D space. That's looking good. And now we can move on to changing the size. So I'm going to bring in a pattern chop. What I want to do first is scroll on over here. Let's go to the channel name and change that to scale. Beautiful. I'm going to change that to a ramp. And what I want to do is first fix the issue that I did before. I forgot to put a null. So I'm going to go to this constant. I'm going to go to the switch, put this over here, throw a null. Now we have params. So now I can say this should be this number of points. And this should be the number of points. Perfect. And what you can see is that you have 1 through 15 here. And then we have 1 through 15 here. So that's how we want to basically affect our data with instancing. You know, if you don't understand how instancing works, it took me a long time to understand, but when it clicks, it clicks pretty nicely. So I'm going to throw this into a math, and I want to go from 0 to 1 to 0 to 200, and actually I want to go from 0 0.2 to here, and then I can throw that into a merge, and that scales in there. Now our geo, we can throw this into scale. And let's turn the viewer on, and I think we have done something wrong. Interesting. This is not right. Zero to one. 0 to 1, 0 to 200. Huh, oh, that was the issue. It's not 0 to 200. It's 0 to 2. Haha. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. That's looking sort of where we want to be. What I also want to do is sort of comp over the background. So I'm going to create a select top towards my render out. I am going to grab the select, throw in the video texture, and I will um, bring this in. I'm going to hit right click on this little node over here so I can add in a composite. I'm going to hit over and drag the select in. So now we have that nice little background. So this is looking, starting to seem familiar to uh, what we were seeing in the beginning. So I want to maybe change one more thing before we add the rotation. In this constant, I'm going to add something called uh, taper. 
decay, not taper decay. I want to do, this is number of cycles. And that will help us for later. Let's leave that blank for now. Um, and then in here, we're going to change the taper rate down to 0 0.5 and bring this up a little bit more. We can play with this later if we want, but we're good for now. Cool. Set up those variables for later. For later. We have our taper. Now we want to add in a, another pattern chop. I'm going to grab this length from over here, this number of points, and cool. Let's change this to a triangle wave, and I'm going to change this channel name to rotation. Rotation. And remember, I want to set this number of cycles to this variable over here. So I'm going to set that over here and then bring this up to about 0.4. Let's bring this math in and set that to 0 to 1, 0 to 150. And then bring that into a merge. I only want to rotate this on the z-axis. So I'm going to go back over to this geo and I'm going to hit rotate z. And now, looks like we are pretty close to that effect that we wanted. And I'm pretty happy with how this is starting to look. Let's just add a um, speed for this to rotate at. So I'll add another thing over here called speed. And I set that to 0 0.05. Then I can, in my pattern, grab that variable viewer active, drag that over to phase, and I'm going to do that times abs time dot seconds, and now we have some nice rotation. So now let's uh, take a look at some of our other videos we have in here. Now that fish is looking pretty nice, but you know what would make that fish look a little bit nicer is if we added a transform before the fish. So I'm going to take this transform in there, bring this scale up a little bit. Um, if you're going for a very glitchy look, this might work. But unless you don't want that, I'm going to go over to Tile and change Repeat to Mirror. And we kind of change the texture a little bit, which I think is pretty nice. Um, we can also add in our webcam. So I'm going to bring in a video device in. And I'm going to make sure I have the right webcam selected. Um, and it's not happy, so I'm just going to use the other webcam I have. And I'm going to bring me in. And now you can kind of see me going back and forth. That's nice and fun. So let's just add a couple more variations on this. But right now we're pretty much at the end of the basic technique. What I want to do now is show you why we set up this constant. Now we can duplicate this and throw this baby into the switch. I'm going to change the index. And why don't we bring the number of points way up to 30, uh, 35. So now we're starting to get this sort of slit scan sort of effect going. I'm going to bring the num cycles down. And you get a really different effect now. You can also change the speed on this. Maybe I want it a little sl slower. Maybe I want it a little bit faster. But be careful because you will... Oh, that speed is not working. Do I need to increase the speed? Let's see, let's find out why this speed isn't working. Oh, because it's not params. It needs to be params at speed. Oh, now I broke that again. And now we add abs time dot seconds. Okay, that's too much. That's 
too much tuna. There we go. All right, so I'm going to bring this up. Now we can increase the speed if we want. That's looking good again. We can play with a number of points. And yeah, so this is pretty much where we're at, you know. Try some different video textures in there. I got my fish. I got me. This is nice. I feel like if you have a connect or something, you know, having this sort of trail and the spinning going on is pretty nice. Um, I think also just what you can do with um, different types of videos going in there. And now you have the switch. You can kind of change um, what sort of things you want. Going to put this one more in here. And let's bring the num cycles up a bunch. Yeah, that's nice. So now we have this really curvy, and I think that's a great place to end, kind of show what this technique can really do. And that's that. If you want the project files, it's on Gumroad, and feel free to leave a comment on the YouTube video or reach out on Instagram with any questions. Thank you.